Do you ever think that fulfilling your dreams could destroy your life? Achieving your dreams, achieving your goals could destroy your life. Do you ever think about this? Let me give you a short story about a man that wanted a million dollars by the end of the year. He was so supportive of his family. They like him, he liked them. A very cool family of wife and two children. He has this contract to move from California to Chicago to achieve one million dollars by the end of the year. He left them, they are good buys, everything profit. After six months, his wife is asking for him that you absolutely need to come back home. You definitely need to come back home because the children are misbehaving. I don't know how to control them. They are all over me. He gave her excuses that he's halfway to achieve one million dollar. He see no way. He see no room for him to come back home. After three months, she called him again that you definitely need to come back home because these children are getting worse day after day. I cannot control them anymore. Come back home, see what they are doing, spend at least two weeks or even one month, then go back and continue whatever you are doing. He gave her excuses that I am a couple months away to achieve one million dollars. Please, please allow me to do that. Only three months more, then I will come back home. She told him, it's just children, I guess it was. They can do anything from here hands forward. He didn't listen to her. After a year completed, he ended up achieving his goal, which is very good. And it's a very good mindset if you want to achieve anything. You have to have no distractions. He came back home to discover that it was complete disaster. The family is split away. One of the children has been stabbed to death. Another is in jail. His wife is in the court asking for divorce and half of his wealth. He achieved the goal, but he ended up losing something that is more valuable to him. They have a call mentioned this one sentence in his book Secret of the Melonious Mind. Nothing has value in this life but the value that you give it. Money has no value but the value that you give it. Education has no value but the value that you give it. Government has no value but the value that you give it. Any person you see in this world has no value but the value that you give him. Similarly, religion has no value but the value that you give it. And that's why you find we are so dynamic in this world. Someone is valuing something to the sky. But another doesn't give an F to that. He didn't care because nothing has value in this world but the value that you give it. This is a very true sentence. So the moral of this story is that when setting a dream, you have to sit down and write down what are the priorities according to you in this life. Number one, number two, number three. Achieving this goal shouldn't jeopardize these priorities that you value the most. Make no mistake setting your goals. Have priorities, understand which one comes first and which one comes second.